Yeah, flip or rehab, as we're supposed to say, right? Rehab, that's yes, sorry. Oh, that's, that's, right. the that's the TV term. <laughs> flip, flip has become something of a, of a pejorative. I don't know. It's, yeah, it's, 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 yeah they, flip's the bad think, one. Rehab's a good one. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> same thing, different name. I don't know. This is Las Vegas Real Estate Now with local real estate expert Harvey Blankfeld. We're seeing a lot of, of, of properties that have been rehabbed. Um, there are advantages and there are disadvantages. Some we can control, some even we can't. So right. you have to have some uh, being aware of that. Um, advantages, obviously, is you, you're probably going to get a house that's been very nicely updated style-wise. Mm-hmm. So uh, it's, it's going to look the way a modern house looks and, you know, the way a new construction house looks a lot of times. So, yeah. you know, that's the obvious advantage. The disadvantage is were things done or the potential, is, were they done the way they should have been? Right. So if you look at it from the perspective of the person doing the rehab, obviously they have a financial interest because they purchased the property. There's a certain amount of money they can put into it. The less they put into it, the more profit they're going to make at the end of the day. Right. Not saying they don't have, a, you know, integrity. Absolutely. But it's still it's still a financial venture, right? So right. that's 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 the thing. Um, so when we get in there, we want to be extra careful. Um, especially with electrical, if there's been light fixtures added, because a lot of older homes don't have as many light fixtures as mm-hmm. today's do. Right. So some can, they add some cans. get in the attic yep. and they've added some lighting. So mm-hmm. a lot of times we see wiring that's not quite up to up to speed there. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, and the warranty side of that, we just talked about all the warranties you're going to get from a new home builder. Yee. I don't think we're going to get any any sort right. of warranty coverage, at least from the person selling the home. I mean, in theory, there probably should be because if a, if a rehab person or a flip person is using licensed contractors, licensed contractors should have workmanship warranty. Right. right. But then down the road, going back, finding the person that said, hey, did my plumbing. Oh, but by the way, who did my plumbing and, and are they going to help me? Uh, it's It's tough there sometimes. So. Well, maybe it's a good <laughs> idea, Sim, when, you, when your, your buyer's looking at a flip to ask the seller to provide receipts from the subcontractors so that we can have somebody to hold accountable. Yeah. Maybe. And they may or may not do that. And they may, mean, a lot of times I'm betting they don't because they probably didn't hire licensed subcontractors. Right. But, you know, and there's there's one thing that, that we can do before we even get into the, like, you know, you see a brand new kitchen sink and faucet. Look under the sink. Was the plumbing changed? Let's, yeah, is there or, a surprise? You know, yeah. So we can eyeball some things first yeah. before we even get Ben out there. No doubt. And I would be especially concerned with what's not visible. Like we said, Ben. Right. I mean, the visible stuff they can make look real pretty, but what's not visible, that's the, that's the scary stuff. And that's what you really want to have. Make sure your inspector's scrutinizing. And with the seller's real property disclosure statement for a rehabber, how, how does that... Because they're responsible to disclose any issues they're aware of when they sell the home. Now, as you know, Sin, the only thing that has historical uh, relevance is is mold or, or water, water damage. Yeah. And so if there was water damage or mold in the property, they have to disclose that. But if they fixed everything else, there's nothing to disclose. Yeah. You know. But they do try to get away with we've never lived in the home, so we don't have to fill this out. Yeah, but if they fixed it up, they'd have a hard time proving that in court, I think. that If you're, yeah. you're going to fix up a house, if you're going to do the work, and sell the house as though you've rehabbed it, not flipped it, mm-hmm. you, you rehabbed it. Right. <laughs> if you're going to do that, then I think you have a certain level of accountability, uh, whether you use licensed contractors or not. And if, for that very reason, if I'm a flipper, I'm using licensed contractors because I don't want to just be me on the hook. No. Right? Yes. Yeah, the liability. So, so here's an example of risk. So uh, last year, one of the new home builders um, in the Henderson area, one of their subcontractors didn't seal shower enclosures properly. Aye, aye, aye. So you get a couple months down the road. You don't know it at first is the thing, right? The tile's all nice and pretty. You yeah. don't know what the waterproofing looks like. A couple months go by, all the showers on this street started to leak from the upstairs to the downstairs. Oh my God. All the showers. <laughs> all the showers. Oh, downstairs. my goodness. Oh, no. So Like builder, through the ceiling. Through the ceiling. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. 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 That's it was devastating. like every house, every house on the street. Oops. Because it subcontracted. <laughs> yeah. Oops. Now, in, in the case of those homeowners, builder warranty, okay? Yeah. Builder comes in, fixes it, takes care of it. Right. I've seen the same thing happen with rehabs. Sure. Oh, And yeah. six months later, a year later, you yeah. find this out, and there, there's really nobody to help you at that point. 
Yeah, because they're not so. using the proper green board or sealing yep. it properly. Or they're not doing the right type of stuff behind those yep. tiles. And you don't know there's what's there. No way to know. And as no an inspector, you would have a hard time no, figuring that tell, out. Can't tell by looking at it. Yeah, there's, there's, there's no way. You look at a shower where the tile's all nice and finished. You have no idea what they put behind it. Yeah. So look, so, I mean, so I think that, it's just an example. Example of, of you know some risk that you have to take. 